We're going to get to that, but our first, our big story tonight at 10, a community activist and one of the leading voices in all of the recent protests that you've been hearing and seeing was arrested today. Yeah, Fox 6's Casey Cronus live from the Milwaukee Police Administration building downtown, where dozens gathered earlier to protest the arrest of Vaughn Mays. Ben and Mary, some of those protesters say they believe Von Mays was arrested in an effort to silence their movement. Milwaukee police, though, telling us otherwise, stating that Mays was taken into custody for alleged criminal activity related to the civil unrest that unfolded last week. Community activist Vaughn Mays officially booked into Milwaukee County Jail Monday evening with three pending charges. Hi there, sir. What up? Police, you got a, we got a warrant against the arrest, sir. Please step out of the vehicle. Earlier in the day, Mays was streaming on Facebook Live when Milwaukee police approach his car. They arrested him on, bro, for no reason. As police take Mays into custody near 50th and North, Frank Nitty, another local activist, is there to capture it. Can you tell me? Can you tell me why y'all arrested him? Milwaukee police say Mays was arrested for criminal trespassing and potentially other charges in connection to last week's civil unrest near 40th and Lloyd, stemming from an investigation. Investigation into two missing girls. There, three non fatal shootings unfolded, and a house was set on fire. Cameras captured video of Mays walking up the steps at the home. We've been down here to try to get some answers or try to get him free. Protesters say they believe he is being silenced. My concern is that he's a lead organizer in the movement, and I feel like he's uh, been taken in and detained to try to stop people from coming out to the movement. Milwaukee police say charges will be filed in the coming days. Now, Mays is still facing federal charges, where in 2016 he was accused of plotting to firebomb Milwaukee Police District 7 during the Sherman Park unrest. That case is still pending. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Casey Cronus, Fox 6 News. Casey, thank you.